Let's go thrifting. This box right here. This right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. And this one. The watch? No, the little necklace oh. bracelet. That's cool. Nice thing. This is neat. I'll take that. Okay. You gotta hold that back there, right? No problem. Oh, look, that's cute. I'll pass on that. Too small. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty. Are you still shopping? Yep. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I have this right here for you. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Cute, but meh. I know those are like a hundred at Marshall's and husband needs one. I don't know if you guys can even hear me. Let's see.
Adrian. <laughs> oh, this is the one that has the charger in it. Oh, it does have the strap. Good. It's got the strap and a phone case. That it is a win. Stellan something. I remember these when I was little lugs. used to do well for me, but I'm just be sitting. Jean jackets have too many. Somebody swap this. 
pretty for seven dollars. Do you know what the color is this week? Purple. Thank you. Ooh, this is nice. Seven. Oh. Dang it. Seven. Alexander Bartlett. Alexandra Bartlett. Hiromichi Nakano. Oh. Twenty five dollars. Yeah. Too much. Hi, guys. Hope you liked my shop with me video. It was a little hard because the music in that Goodwill is so loud. So I kind of had to do a voiceover. And this is some of the stuff that I got. I also hit up an estate sale, which I will put some video in. This estate sale was huge 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 she had so much stuff i mean the jewelry and the clothes she had what one two three four closets plus an entire basement full full of clothes i've never she must have she i guess she passed when she was 90 98 years old or something and she must have saved everything she ever bought since she was young. Because there was stuff from like the 50s, the, or not the 50s, but like the 60s, the 70s, uh, up until now. And she had tons and tons of fur and faux fur. So, you know, I was going nuts. Um, and I will do a separate video on what I got as far as the furs and faux furs. Um, but, I mean, there was just, so, I've never seen so much stuff. And it kind of put into perspective, like, if something was to ever happen to me, what my husband would have to deal with. Um, now, mine is more of a business, but still the amount of stuff that he would have to deal with, not as much as this lady had. I mean, I have never seen anything like it, but still quite a bit. So I'm trying to figure out what to do as far... I told him, like, if something ever happened, to just have an estate sale. Because... And to keep my designer bags and sell those separately um, because those will give him the most money. But yeah, it definitely puts things into perspective. But anyways, <laughs> I did buy some of her stuff. <laughs> so um, you've seen some of the stuff that I got in the Goodwill video and I will show you in the haul what I got. Um, so let's just jump right in. I hope everyone's 2021 is going good so far. Um, mine has just, it's been, it's been, okay? <laughs> um, I feel like it's just the end of 2021, or 2020, just kind of trailing off, so hopefully the rest of the year will be better than the last few, the last week. Okay, so first off, like I said, she had so much jewelry. So much jewelry that I've never seen that much jewelry in my life. Like, if somebody was to come in my house and I sell sometimes um, big lots of jewelry in, like, craft lots or wearable lots. Because sometimes I buy the um, the jewelry jars from, like, uh, Salvation Army, Goodwill, stuff like that. Even though none of them are doing it in our area anymore. Um, but when I did... I would keep a few things out of it to either sell or keep, and then the rest I would just sell in bulk. So I guess 
somebody would say, but her stuff was like all QVC brands, um, silver, not much gold. So I don't know if the family took the gold or what, but I mean, you'll see in the video that I post, um, for the furs, I will post some footage from the, um, estate sale, just a massive amount of stuff. So anyway, this box, I mean, there was stuff hitting everywhere. Like you really had to like dig, dig in drawers. It was, it was insane. But anyways, this big box of jewelry bags was sitting under the kitchen table. And I just asked, you know, are the jewelry bags for sale? And she said, yes. And I asked how much, and she said, um, $10 for the box, which I thought was a good deal. So when I do sell the more designer good stuff, um, I'll have something to put them in. There is a bunch of silk uh, jewelry, like travel things. Um, I'll probably put those in a lot or something because I won't use them. But the rest are just jewelry bags. There's a Crown Royal bag in here. Um, some are, are named. That's another some have names on them some are just plain black which is nice because then these I, I will keep some of these for the jewelry that the good jewelry I have um <clears throat> so I spent at this time I think I spent like 200 or something like that at the estate sale the first day and then I went back the next day and bought more and spent about 250 something like that um, so I spent quite a bit of money there, uh, but I did get some amazing things, which again, I'll show you some of these. I do have a couple things that I'm going to show you that I got from there. Um, the first thing is this necklace and it was, nothing was marked. It was so frustrating. She said, oh, it was very, okay. So <clears throat> I know I'm rambling, but whatever. It was very unorganized. It was very unprofessional. Um, the lady was yelling at her husband and yelling at customers and the way it was set up was just there was no way to stay six feet apart. I mean, it was just nothing was marked. Nothing. I mean, there was maybe a hundred coats and four of them were marked. The jewelry, same thing. Hundreds of pieces, maybe four were marked. Nothing was. And then, you know, you had to wait in line to ask her prices and she you know, picked them on the spot. It was just, it was very, very unprofessional and very, very unorganized. And it was frustrating. I actually had to deal with some stuff afterwards. But anyways, I picked this necklace up. It was $20 and it has cats all over them. It is sterling silver. I can't remember who the designer is. Let me see if it's got a name. I did find the exact necklace and it sold for $195. I do have to clean this up a bit. Oh, it is Sterling Wild Bride. Let's see if you can. So I thought it was really unique. Um, I'm going to shine it up and sell it. I think um, I'm not a cat person. I did originally buy this for Princess Castrol's husband, but he didn't like it. Nor did he like any of the pins they had. I called while I was there. I was so excited. I was like, they got cat pins. And he didn't like them. But I think uh, Princess Castrol did find one and bought it for him for Christmas. Um, so, yeah, I picked that up. Uh, this was 10 um, it's so pretty. It is this turquoise and coral necklace with the silver clasp. Beautiful necklace. I picked this up for ten. Miss uh, Princess Casserole did do two videos, I believe, because on um, her channel with her estate sale finds, they were a little while back. I'm a little late to the game, <laughs> um, but she did find a, a lot of amazing treasures. Uh, this was 10, I forget what this guy is called, but it's got this cool chain. I didn't see any markings, so I don't think he's sterling, but he's still a very cool piece. 
So I picked him up for 10. Um, what else did I get? Oh, this. Okay, so this. So this is another thing I don't like. Like, mark your stuff. Instead, she had to go through every single piece of jewelry you had to A, give you a price, and to B, check and see if it's sterling or marked. Like, let's just... You should have done this, and it's a professional company. Like, you should have done this ahead of time. Um, anyways, she missed the mark on this guy. She said, oh, it's not sterling, but it is. And she charged me $10 for this one as well. It's really cool. It's got the... You pull this, I think, right? yeah. You pull that out, and it's a cuff bracelet. That's really cool, but it is marked. I don't know how she didn't see it, but she didn't. So this was $10 as well. This one I'm going to keep. I love cuff bracelets. I thought it was very unique. I don't know what that design is. And I don't know what that yellow stain is on my hand other than the fact that it's possibly from acid testing jewelry. It's been on my hand. I've washed it a bazillion times and it's been there for like a week. So I did look, look it up and it said it could be from the acid test that I use. So um what else did I get from that estate sale what is that oh this this I paid 24 I still think it's cool it's the same guy as the necklace it's a huge cuff bracelet it's not marked um it's not ju it's not so this was actually one piece that was marked she did have a bracelet and it was huge it was she said it was sterling but I don't think it was and she had to mark it for like two hundred dollars somebody bought it um it's marked something it had like Oh, CN. Does anybody know what that is? Because I see it on a lot of jewelry. Um, but anyways, it's this, this huge cuff. I think it's so neat and it matches the bracelet. I don't know how you wear it, if you wear it that way or this way. Um, but it's huge. It's gigantic and I love it. So I bought that for myself as well. I try not to buy jewelry too much to resell because I'm not, it's just not my thing. But sometimes I do, um, but none of that is to resell, except for maybe the cat necklace. Okay, next, this was also at the sale, um, and I will either put the footage in this video, but I have so much footage already, so I might just put it in the next video that has the fur coats. Um, but it was these two nest items. I paid $5 a piece, which is a freaking steal. I thought she was... So I picked up this... Sorry. Again, rambling. Um, I picked up this uh, Lucite bathroom set. Oh, God, it was gorgeous. I love... Okay, so I love vintage. But it has to either be crystal, Lucite, anything Lucite, like I'm, I love. I love, 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 love Lucite. Anyways, this bathroom set was Lucite. I just want it. $40 for it. I was like, yeah, no. Um, so I thought she was going to ask a lot for this, but she didn't. So it is Nest Fragrance Midnight Fleur. Brand new, sealed $5. And then the matching body cream, $5. That is a huge, huge deal. Okay, so that, I believe, is it in this haul for that estate sale. Uh, next up, I picked this up. I'm going to be doing a giveaway. Um, I don't know the details yet, but it will be in the next couple of weeks. I'm just getting stuff together for the giveaway. It's going to be a thrift haul giveaway. Um, and this is one of the things. It's a brand new Ray Dunn Live water bottle. This was $2.50. I thought that was so cute with the little wooden top. In the beads. Um, I guess we'll just keep going at random because there's just a lot of random. <laughs> um, these earrings I paid a dollar ninety eight for, but I am going to repurpose these. Um, I am Sicilian, and we all wear the Italian horn, the fist, which this is not the fist, but it is a fist. And the evil eye. I don't have my evil eye charm yet. Neither does my daughter. We have the fist and um, Italian horn. But anyways, these are earrings. And I liked the charms that were on them. So I will probably repurpose them. 
they are so random. I mean, I don't even understand the the horn, the fist, the basket. Maybe there's some meaning to them. I don't know. Let's see if they're marked. They are not marked. They are just. But isn't that isn't that odd? And that is like an Italian gesture. <laughs> not a great one. So I'm not sure what the meaning is behind those earrings. I also picked this necklace up. It was $15. It was a little more than I normally pay for something. But I really liked it. And if nothing else, I will repurpose most of the Hansas. Um, so it is this pretty necklace. And it has all these strands and then all the Hansas. And I believe that's Nefertiti. Um... I think a star crown. I, I don't know who it's by. It's so cool. Another Nefertiti. A moon. Um, it's a very unique, very, very unique necklace. Not marked. Ugh, I have one of those stupid spray air fresheners in my room and it just went off. So I paid $15 and then it's got the matching earrings. Which I thought was cool. Uh, okay, that's it for jewelry. Oh, no. So I got some Louis Vuitton. I paid $25 for this. Um, it is authentic. It has a little bit of... A couple red dots. Not a big deal. And it is a Union Square November 2000. I think it was a... Like a... Um, for VIP members... It was a free bracelet, I think. Um, but it's authentic. I may or may not dye it. It's starting to turn. That I think it was blue at one point and it's turned green. I'm not sure. But I love it. It'll add to my stack of the other ones that I bought. Um, More random. I love brass. I love gaudy. I love, love, love that stuff. <laughs> so I, when I found this, I absolutely had to have it. It was $5.49. It does have a mark. Um, I haven't looked into that yet. And it is a door knocker. It's a vintage door knocker. And it has this guy. I don't know if this is the Dionysus. Di I can't remember his name. The God of Wine. I don't know if that's him or not. But this thing is so cool. And I have the original door and doorknob on my house that was built in 1900. So I'm definitely putting that guy somewhere on the door. Um, so random is how I know, right? <laughs> okay, so this next item I bought as a gift to give. And I'm going to be honest. Christmas came. Thanksgiving came. New Year's came. I had no cake server. I have no thing to take cake out of a freaking or pie out of a thing. So I'm keeping it. <laughs> it's three forty. It was three forty nine. It's brand new, Pampered Chef, heel cake server. Um, but yeah, I couldn't. I'm like, unless you have a big spatula, but then that ruins the, you know, the cake falls apart. So I'm like, I don't have anything to take cakes and pies out of. I don't have many cakes here, but you know, we do pie for holidays and stuff, and I have nothing to scoop it out with. So. I'm keeping it. Um, so it's just... Oh, it's super cute. Oh, how cute is that? So yeah, I it became a gift for myself. <laughs> um, unless, you know, of course, anything like Pampered Chef or stuff like that, I always look up first because some of these things have a cult following and something like this, I'll be like, oh, it's cute. And I'll look and it'll be worth like $75. And I'm like, oh yeah, no, we're going to sell it. Not saying this is, but you don't know how many times that happens where I'm like... Oh, I bought this cheap little thing for me to use. And then I look it up and, it, oh, I did that with a um, a rolling pin. And I was going to give it as a gift because somebody, one of my best friends asked for a rolling pin one year at Christmas or her birthday. And I was going to give her that. And then I looked it up and it sold for like $150. So I sold the rolling pin and gave her the rolling pin she asked for. It was a lot cheaper. Um... But yeah, 
weird things like that happen. Um, okay, another random thing that I bought for myself, and now I'm like, do I sell it or keep it, is this thing. It's called Volume. It was $3.49. Um, it's a hair volumizing iron. So I've seen it, and a lot of times these stuff, these things sell for money. But I was intrigued because it shows that it makes your hair look fuller. Um, but yeah, it sells for like a hundred and something dollars, and I'm like, oh, do I keep it? So it is this. And a lot of times I will use my flat iron at the roots and kind of like turn it out a little bit to get some volume up on my roots because it makes it stay higher. So I don't know if this does the same thing. I am going to give it a shot first. And if it works, I'm going to have to fight with myself on whether I keep it or not. <laughs> I had never heard of it before. But yeah, that's it. Um, all right, I think we have done... Oh. One last. Oh, and I am rocking, repping my Buffalo Bills today. Go Bills Mafia. We are in the playoffs tomorrow. I don't know when this video will get up, but tomorrow we are in the playoffs. <laughs> um, if you've seen my video, I did pick up this Polo Sport Windbreaker. It was $5.99. These have a tendency to do very well, especially if it has a big label on it. Um, a lot of the vintage Polo and Ralph Lauren do very, very well. If it has a skier or a bear on it, it usually does really well. Sorry. Drink break. Okay. Shoes, purses, shoes and purses. Okay. These I picked up. Um, they just need a good cleaning. These were $5.39. They are the Sorel uh, Joan of Arc. Joan of Arctic. Um, they're a size 8. Insides look good. It's just this fur needs to be cleaned and refluffed. Um, they are in fairly good condition. So what I would do to clean these is I buy, so everything's clean except for this part right here, right? So I buy the sneaker cleaner and this will all come white again or relatively white. It should come white again or whatever color it was originally. That stuff works wonders, wonders. So again, just needs a refluff cleanup and these were $5.50. Uh, these shoes, I don't know if these made it in a video already, but I don't think they did. These, I don't know how either this happened, but these super cute white booties. I love these. These are not everybody's style, but I freaking loved them. They were $79.90. Oh no, there's $7.99. Jeez, I can't speak today. They were $7.99 with half off. They were four dollars brand new still have the little thingies in it i was pumped i was like oh yeah those are mine those are mine and they're my size absolutely so yes i snagged those okay now if you've seen my video it was such a good day oh and i did buy the luggage i just don't have it in the video it was 15 dollars. those are at least a hundred and something at um marshall's tj maxx stuff like that definitely worth the price it was brand new inside it was a great deal um but these like just were like Whoa. <laughs> these mark jacobs shoes are amazing what what five dollars and 39 cents what and they are my size so yeah we are keeping these bad boys but oh my god i was just like um yeah Really? Yes, please. Just, I mean, you see me walk up to him like, oh, okay, thank you. So my thrift stores have been hit or miss. I actually went yesterday, no, yesterday, yesterday, and there was like, they weren't even putting stuff out. It was like bare. I don't know what's happening, but it was bare. Um, okay. That is it for shoes. Y'all know my obsession with faux fur and real fur. And I picked this guy up for 8 
it's from Tony Walker and Company, which is an expensive. Yeah, it was 60 bucks. Um, expensive store in our area. And it's just this faux white fur. Long, 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 long white. Oh, I can't wait to show you guys the stuff I got from that garage or that state sale. Oh, my God. A lot of it is going to be for sale. So if you like furs and faux furs, I have quite a bit I will be listing. I list most of my stuff on Mercari. Some of it on Posh. I'd prefer if you bought it on Mercari, I'll give you a better deal. Because then you and I both make have a better deal. Because Mercari or Poshmark just takes too much. Okay. Next. I got this, the sack. Which does okay for me. I mean, it's not, you know, $500 okay but it's definitely you know consistent little bread and butter money makers um this was two dollars and 89 cents it is brand new it is a wristlet phone holder crossbody bag the strap is inside if i wasn't such a label whore like this is a, the perfect bag to like go to on vacation with because you only need one bag and you have a wristlet and a crossbody good for like going shopping or theme parks or stuff like that like this is a perfect perfect bag for that it's classy for night and then during the day you got your crossbody to do shopping or sightseeing <sighs> hmm. <laughs> so much it's kind of a big haul all right um 25 minutes i hope y'all are still with me so this bag now i have resigned from buying coach except for certain instances they either have to be a like brand new b leather that's about it <laughs> and c depends on the price like i won't pay a lot for a coach bag unless it's like a new coach bag like a new line um this was two dollars and 89 cents it's leather it's authentic i can't remember if this is the madison i can't remember anyway um just needs a good cleaning, some leather conditioner, and this guy will be looking gorgeous again. So for three dollars, I was like, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do that. <clears throat> because a lot of times, like I'll buy the crossbodies or wallets or whatever for five, and then resell them for twenty-five, and that's still a decent profit. Um, this I bought the same day as the other stuff. Um. This was a cool bag. I was like, you know, it's different. It's funky. It kind of looks like that um, Bao Bao bag from Izzy Miyake. Um, if you're ever looking for a cologne to buy your husband, husband, Izzy Miyake is amazing. In like 2002 or two, what is it, 2005, it was a number, number one panty dropper cologne. Um, it is missing the strap, but that's easy enough to replace. It was... $5.89 and it is a Mer Patricia Luca and I looked it up and these bags are fairly expensive I had never heard of it before um it just needs to be cleaned up wiped down and a new strap and it's good like these sell for like a hundred bucks um I don't know if it's new or used I haven't looked since I picked them up but um oh <laughs> okay PSA, PSA, check your zippers. I never checked the zipper. Oh, wait, it was zipped. Oh, so the one side zipper doesn't work. It's not terrible. We can fix that. I can have my cobbler fix that for like $5. He'll just put this back on here and then sew a little bar in there. Not a big deal, but I of all people should know better. I don't know how many times in the beginning of my thrifting career <laughs> that I picked up zippers that were blown out on jeans, zippers that were blown out on purses, holes and crotches. I usually check everything thoroughly now. That guy got missed. <clears throat> okay. Next. Hold on. Now, I have bought this bag before and sold it. I have seen this bag numerous times and now won't buy it. Um, this one I did, but I see this brand. I think it's Geely. 
Not to be confused with that awful movie made by Brad. What's his name? Not Brad Pitt. Um, J Lo and oh my God, what's his name? <laughs> Whatever you know who I'm talking about. But it is Geely. Geely. I don't know. They're expensive. Um, resale. E. It was seven dollars and thirty nine cents. But it is a really cool bag. I love fringe. I am all about fringe. I have not gotten my ultimate fringe bag, but I do love this. I do like this. Um, I will probably wear this once and then resell it. Um, inside is in good condition. But yeah, I love fringe. I have this amazing black fringe purse I bought from a garage sale. I've yet to sell it. <laughs> I can't do it. I love fringe. And it's a pretty big bag, so this is nice. Um, okay, the last three. Dun, 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 dun. This one I paid up for, and I know it sounds funny, but, you know, when you go from finding bags for 5 to $3, and then they go up to $10, 20 $25, you're like, that's a lot, but then you have to, <laughs> you have to, I have to talk myself like, okay, girl, you know this is worth it, stop being cheap. Those days of $4 Louis Vuittons, never found that. But I'm just saying, you know, those days of $4 uh, designer bags are over. You know, maybe here and there, but not much. So anyways, um, this was $10.89. <gasps> the horror. Um, it is a crossbody Mark by Mark Jacobs bag. It's a big crossbody. Um so it looks like that it's canvas it did have a little thing that hung from this but i don't think it's in here anymore this is the inside and then this also opens there's nothing in there but yeah this goes all the way down so that's a nice big mark jacobs crossbody eleven dollars um, okay, so this one you saw in the video, and I thought it felt heavy. I'm like, why is this thing so heavy? So it is this nice Kate Spade. I mean, it's in excellent condition. Kate Spade. Um, that's the inside. This was $15, so I really paid up for that one. <laughs> but it's, like, new. Um, it has the crossbody strap, which, honestly... For $15 alone, this was worth it because I don't know how many times I've had a good bag that didn't have the strap. So that, wait, what's this? Oh, it's got a little, somebody must have taken that off. Does it have, oh, it's got a keychain. Okay, so that goes there. And then also it came with this wristlet wallet um i don't know what phone this is but honestly you could just take this out and use it without it and still use it as a wristlet because then this would go flat and then you'd still have a wristlet so this i will probably i mean the handles are perfect there's no this doesn't look like it was really used so this one I will probably resell because I don't, I have become such a handbag snob and I don't mean to be, who am I to be one? I mean, I don't make, the amount of purses I have, I don't make the money to afford them, <laughs> but because I am smart and I know how to find deals, I am able to afford them, but I've become, yeah, I've become a, a bag snob. I don't mean to be. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, this bag is gorgeous, and I believe I paid up for this guy, too. Yeah. This was my most expensive. This was $25 at Anvets. Um, It is gorgeous inside. Clean. The outside is gorgeous. It just needs a little wipe down. There's, like, some white spot there, but, I mean, it's not, like, used. It's just... um. I mean, it might be used. I don't know. It wasn't used very often. But there's no stains. 
and it's this big olive green satin look at this beautiful leather beautiful yeah so that was 25 dollars and this i mean this was that was a good deal for me i think um i would wear that i would wear that i actually have been searching high and low for a good um camel army jacket because i want to put a patch on it and i think that would go good with an army jacket pair of black jeans and some combat boots type thing it would be a cute outfit so oh and that's another thing like you cannot really go in looking for a specific thing like if you're like all right i need a black blazer then you might have a chance but if you're like i need a black blazer with silver buttons you're limited so i used to see camo jackets army jackets all of well just you know service jackets all the time every time i went in there i saw i saw i decided i wanted to get one and put a um our lady guadalupe on the back a sequin patch and cannot find one could not find one for weeks weeks i'm like what the heck if you're looking for something, you never see it. If you, if you, and it's that time where you need it and you're like, oh my God, I see these all the time. No problem. I'll find one. Yeah, no, that's not how the universe works for me. <laughs> but I was actually able to find one, which will be in another haul. So I hope you are still here. It's 35 minutes. Oh my goodness. And I spoke pretty fast. I felt, um, thank you guys so much. I hope your new year is doing well. I hope you liked my thrift with me video I am going to do more um I did say that my husband got me the GoPro so I've been using that I'm still a little it's still a little shaky so I'm trying to get something that works that isn't you're not going to get so shaky um unfortunately because of the music and some of my goodwills they bump it <laughs> so I'm going to have to do voiceovers or music overs um so let me know what you think and I hope you all are well thank you guys so much for watching me Please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.